All right, we are 18 days into the month of April, and so far it's been a fairly dry month across Connecticut. In fact, abnormally dry on the drought monitor for a good chunk of our state. Here's a look at where the numbers stand. Uh, just over half an inch uh, recorded for the Hartford area uh, and just around four-tenths of an inch for Bridgeport. Pretty notable deficits so far uh, month to date. If the month were to end today, it would be the driest on record. We do have some rain coming. Um, we'll have more on that in our early warning seven-day forecast as it will have perhaps a role in your weekend plan. More on that momentarily. Meanwhile, we've got temperatures right near the 50 degree mark in the Litchfield Hills, mid 50s elsewhere inland and mid and upper 50s along the 95 quarter. If you spent any time outside today, you certainly have felt the wind at times gusting as high as 40 miles an hour. These are the most recent sustained winds between 10 and 20 miles an hour and looking skyward from our eye can view in Mystic, uh, some clearing underway. We started with sun, clouds moved in and now those clouds are beginning to erode a bit. Uh, if you're heading out and about this evening, you'll certainly want to have a jacket on hand as that wind will make those temps that will go from the 50s into the 40s feel a bit chillier. 52 right now in the brass city of Waterbury and as we look from atop Hartford 21 into Duncan Park in our capital city currently at 56 degrees and as the yard goats take on the Binghamton Rumble Ponies uh, 50s to start at first pitch by the end of the game in the upper 40s so certainly a bit chilly out there. That cloud cover today all in association with this broad area of low pressure aloft spinning up across eastern Canada. We are on the base the southern periphery of that. So tomorrow promises to be a brighter day. And while we had a couple of sprinkles out there today, tomorrow also will be dry uh, with that mostly sunny sky as this area of low, low pressure continues to build farther away. So overnight tonight, we've got mid and upper 30s inland, upper 30s along the shoreline. So some patchy frost can be expected in the usual colder spots of northwest and northeast Connecticut. And then tomorrow, a pretty nice rebound. 55 to near 60 inland, near 60 also along the 90. 95 quarter, still a bit breezy. So we'll have that wind that is up as high pressure builds in from the south and that area of low pressure slowly moves away to our north. And as the high to our south basically becomes anchored off the mid-Atlantic coast, that southwesterly flow will help a warm front head in our direction Wednesday night to Thursday morning. With that, a brief increase in cloud cover, maybe a shower, but primarily dry. And then we're squarely in the warm sector as we close out the week on Friday. So our temperature trend continues in the upper direction. Thursday, about 10 degrees warmer than tomorrow, nearly 15 degrees warmer as we close out the week on Friday. Our overnight lows go from the 30s into the 40s, into the 50s. For the upcoming weekend, mostly cloudy on Saturday. It's not going to be as warm given the cloud cover, but still running above average for this time of year. Then on Sunday, we'll see an increasing chance for rain and storms, especially through the afternoon and evening as a cold front moves through behind that, trending a little bit cooler into early next week. The record for Hartford on the 21st, Friday 87. We're forecasting 84, so near record record warmth. Meanwhile, with the onshore flow coming in across the cooler water of the Sound, that 85 degree record for Bridgeport certainly will be standing. And then again, we trend a little bit cooler over the upcoming weekend.